Hello folks, with Android 14, Google introduced the Ultra HDR feature, which allows users to capture HDR images and videos and view them back in HDR format on a compatible phone. This feature has already been implemented on some flagship smartphones from Chinese brands, but Samsung didn't introduce it with One UI 6.0, however, it looks like the company is working on that feature. It is being reported by Tipster Ice Universe that Samsung will introduce the Ultra HDR feature with the Galaxy S24 series. All three phones in the lineup Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus and Galaxy S24 Ultra are rumored to come equipped with Super AMOLED screens with up to 2500 nits peak brightness, which if true would be 42% brighter than the Galaxy S23 series. Thanks to the screen's brightness capabilities, it would be perfectly suitable to display HDR images and videos captured with the camera. Currently, HDR images and videos captured on most Android smartphones are mapped to the SDR display range and displayed in SDR. SDR, losing extended dynamic range information. Some Android manufacturers have implemented their own ways to display HDR media on HDR capable displays, but Android 14 brings a standard for that feature. A Samsung executive expressed the company's confidence in the performance of the Exynos 2400 chipset that's used in the Galaxy S24 and the Galaxy S24 Plus. Now, the same executive has revealed a major feature that the Galaxy S24 series brings to the table. Park Yong in CEO of Samsung system LSI division confirmed that the company will support satellite connectivity for emergency services starting next year. It likely means that the Galaxy S24 series, which will launch early next year, will feature two-way satellite connectivity for emergency situations. This feature first appeared on 2022 in Apple's iPhone 14 series, and it is also present on the iPhone 15. Earlier this year, the feature also appeared on the Huawei P60 series. A few months ago, Samsung revealed that it had developed developed a way to enable two-way satellite connectivity for smartphones. It is likely that Samsung is using the same technology in the Galaxy S24 series. However, it isn't clear if the feature will be available on all Galaxy S24 series phones or if it will be limited to the Galaxy S24 Ultra model in the lineup. With two-way satellite connectivity, users will be able to send and receive messages about their location and emergency even when they are in a remote area where a cellular mobile phone network is unavailable. Samsung's Galaxy S flagships have been coming in three sizes since 2019, and the biggest model was given the Ultra moniker in 2020 with the Galaxy S20 series. The Ultra model is the absolute best smartphone Samsung has been offering each year since then, and 2024 is going to be no different. The Galaxy S Ultra smartphones have quite a few specs that aren't available on the base and plus models, one of which is the amount of RAM you get. In most markets, Samsung pairs the chipset inside the Ultra models with 12GB of RAM as standard. The Galaxy S20 Ultra and Galaxy S21 Ultra even had a 16GB RAM variant, though that was removed later with the Galaxy S22 Ultra and Galaxy S23 Ultra. And next year, it seems the Plus model will also come with 12GB of RAM, as confirmed by a benchmark of a Korean Galaxy S24 Plus unit on Geekbench. The Galaxy S24 Plus will still come with 8GB of RAM on the cheaper variant, which can be confirmed from previous benchmark listings of the device. These this Galaxy S24 Plus benchmark also confirms that the base and plus models will be powered by the Exynos 2400 in most markets, including Samsung's home country. That's probably going to disappoint some people, as they will have to opt for the costlier Galaxy S24 Ultra if they want their next Samsung phone to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. It remains to be seen if the Galaxy S24 Plus will also come with more storage than previous models. Rumor has it that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will come with a whopping 2 terabyte of maximum storage, up from 1TB on previous Ultra models, so we can see Samsung adding a higher storage tier for the Galaxy S24 Plus as well. Well, though it's possible the company will keep the upgrade for a later time. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching and see you in the next one, good luck to all!